uh, I'm looking at Romans 117. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness, and that is by faith from first to last. Just as, is it, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Yes. So, that's the verse today. To live a life of faith from beginning to end. All right? So these are the points that I have taken up. Huh? So there we are. Uh, life, uh, faith, what is it first? Faith brings pleasure to God. Faith comes first. Understanding follows. Faith brings about transformation. And there we have A, B, and C. Transformation begins and ends with resting with God. Transformation makes you an overcomer, and transformation makes you more than conquerors. Faith means to see and do all things through what God says. To see and do all things through faith, that is our life. Faith enables us to see what others cannot see because it is invisible to them. Everything is by faith. That's the life of faith, from first to last. Faith is not blind. You say, no, you must have blind faith. No, 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 no. Faith can see what others can't see. Therefore, faith does what others can't do. God speaks in Romans 10, 17. It's not here. But faith comes, of course, it's talking about salvation faith, but it's a principle right through. Faith comes. It comes. It comes by hearing God. Faith brings pleasure and amazement to God. Grace transforms you, also empowers you. Empowers you to be all that God designed you to be. All right? He empowers you. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10, by the grace of God, I am what I am. That's what Paul says. And his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I. But the grace of God that was with me. Notice something about this verse. Grace comes first. And then you cooperate with the grace and work hard to make use of the grace that God gave me. Discipleship is a process from moving from unbelief to belief in absolutely every area of your life. You say, listen, of course I know that. Yeah, but when you're sitting before God, if you know there is unrest in your heart, you haven't surrendered. If there is unrest concerning your family, you haven't surrendered. If there is unrest concerning your job, you haven't surrendered. And so you have to surrender to him and then you will find his grace working in that area of your life. That our discipleship is a process. Therefore, every day we move from resting to overcoming to being more than conquerors. Every day. In our daily prayer time, in our one-to-one -one with God, we begin with resting and as we pray to him, we will get all these things coming up. We overcome. And as we overcome, we get up and say, we are more than conquerors. The shout of the king is with me. Amen? Amen? God bless you. Huh? God bless you all.